You know, horror is not just fancy books. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. You may be wondering, what is Beef Daddy wearing a skeleton outfit for? Well, if you read the title of the video and you still clicked on it, then you know what I'm about to do. I'm about to get my Halloween on. When I was a wee lad, I used to watch these Halloween movies and Friday the 13th movies with my buddy over at his house because it wasn't allowed at my house. So I just go over to his house. It's called The Child Loophole. We all exploited it. And I went over there and we would watch these movies and we'd walk around in the neighborhood terrified. And we'd have Chinese stars in our pockets and knives because we were scared. So um, I was thrilled to see that uh, the, the, when last year or a couple years ago Halloween came out and Jamie Lee Curtis started to kick some ass. And I love that movie. Well, Halloween Kills just came out, came out in this time of COVID. And uh, I was going to take my son to go see it in the theater. But then I discovered we could just watch it at home, like recluses. So that's what we done did. And uh, I'm going to watch it, and then I'm going to review it for you right fresh off the viewing. So stick around. So for five bucks, we uh, have a family night, you know, blood and murder and a murderer. And for family night, so me and the son put on the, the skeleton PJs. Made the pizza, the popcorn, uh, the drinks, and we're just saving money and avoiding COVID like true horror fans. All right, I'm going to make this real quick. We just finished watching the movie. It is a big pile of suck. It's probably the worst movie I've ever seen, and I've seen The Commuter. It's like a 12-year-old saw the first Halloween movie and then decided to write a fan script and they made it. It's like it's like the biggest pile of garbage that you'd ever want to see in a movie. I liked the last Halloween. I thought it was really inventive. It was it was Lynn uh Lynn uh Laurie Strode um coming home and taking on Michael. She never gave it up, you know, they had that whole story and she booby trapped her house. This was, this just turned that into a joke. The only thing that Halloween killed in this movie was the series Halloween. This was so, so bad. It was worth probably, I, okay, I paid $4.99 for a Peacock premium thing to see this movie. And I think I overpaid by uh, $4.98. And I'm mad that now I'm now on the hook and I have to cancel my Peacock subscription because I'm not going to let them get away with it. I'm going to have to cut the, the subscription and get rid of it to make Peacock pay for this scam. What a load of garbage. And to think I subjected my son to this. This is poison for his brain. He's going to think that this is what movies are like. This is not what slasher movies are like. This is a load of garbage. Oh, and Michael, Anthony Michael Hall is in this. It's like, what, what grave did they rob this corpse from? Wow. <laughs> it's a disaster. It's just awful. The sad thing is this movie tries to make a bigger point. It really does. It tries to make this idea of how fear turns people into monsters. And, and perhaps in some ways worse than the monster itself. And it's just stupid. It's everybody standing around making speeches. Laurie Strode is sitting in a hospital room the entire movie. Sorry if that spoils it for you. She is totally ineffectual she just sits in a hospital room making speeches about how she's the one that's going to kill michael myers and you know i know there's going to be another part there's one more so they had to make room for this whatever but i'm not going to see it man 
I'm not going to watch this garbage in the hopes that the final installment pays off. I'm not stupid. I have a little bit of self-respect, just a little bit. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm j I'm just glad I did this. I hope I took the bullets for y'all. I put on my I put on my skeleton jammies for this. I'm really mad. So I'm gonna post this. Hopefully, warn as many people as possible. Don't don't see this movie, man. What a really what a train wreck, awful movie. I really had no idea what I would say once I hit record. I didn't know. This is fresh. This is this is a raw review. This is right in the moment after this movie ended. I grabbed this because I didn't want to waste any more brain storage on this poison. I had to let it out. Hopefully, I've saved you. I'm going to do more movie reviews, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know, but if I do, I'll be honest. Don't watch this movie. Just don't. Um, go see. Go see the original Halloween, um, in in all its gory glory. Stay away from this one. Uh, have a beer, and uh, stay frosty. So that's an hour and forty five minutes. I'll never have back. And if I just saved just one person from Halloween Kills then it was all worth it, and that's a lie because it wasn't worth it.